Yeah, now we continue with the questions on logarithms. Uh, now, this part is solve the following logarithmic equations. The first one is log the log of x squared minus 4x plus 7 to base 10 equals 2. First of all, we write this in the index form. And it becomes x squared minus 4x plus 7 equals 10 raised to power 2, which simply means x squared minus 4x plus 7 minus 100 equals 0. 10 raised to power 2 is 100. And that simply means x squared minus 4x minus 93 minus 93 equals 0. Now we can solve this by the formula by the by the quadratic formula method so that minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a that simply means minus let me write that x equals minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a which is equal to a is 1 b is minus 4 and c is minus 93 so that simply means minus into bracket minus 4 plus or minus root minus 4 squared minus how can i make sure that contains that space occupies it eh? minus 4 times 1 times minus 93 times minus 93 all over all over 2 times 1 and that's the same as 4 plus or minus root minus 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times minus 93 is going to be that, should, that will give us a positive value minus 4 times 1 times minus 93 that's plus 372 all over 2 and that's equal to 4 plus or minus root 388 over over 2 which simply means 4 plus or minus 388 divided by 2 oh no square root of 388 rather and that's 19.69 8 approximately all over 2 which simply means x is 4 plus 19.698 over 2 or x equals 4 minus 19.698 all over 2 which simply means x equals 19.698 divided by 2. No, 4 rather. 4 plus 19.698 divided by 2. That's 11.849. Or x equals 4 minus 19.698. Divided by 2, that's minus 7.849. And those are the values of x. We go straight to the next, which says solve log log x squared log x squared minus 3x plus 12 base 10 equals 1. First of all, we write this in index form and it becomes x squared minus 3x plus 12 equals 10 raised to the power 1, which simply means x squared minus 3x plus 12 minus 10 equals 0. 10 raised to the power 1 is 10. When it comes to the left hand side, it becomes minus 10. And this is the same as x squared minus 4x plus what's it going to become x squared 
that um oh okay x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0 which simply means x squared we can solve this equation by the factorization method x squared minus 2x minus x plus 2 equals 0 and that's the same as x into bracket x minus 2 minus 1 into bracket x minus 2 equals 0 which means x minus 1 times x minus 2 equals 0 and that simply means x minus 1 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0 which means x equals 1 or x equals 2 and that solves it very very simply now to the next solve log x squared plus 7x plus 21 base 10 base 3 rather equals 2 we write in index form as usual x squared plus 7x plus 21 equals 3 raised to the power 2 and that means x squared plus 7x plus 21 equals 9 which means x squared plus 7x plus 21 minus 9 equals 0 which simply means x squared plus 7x plus 21 minus 9 is 13 no that's 14 I was at that's 12 equals 0 and that simply means can we solve this by the factorization method yes that means x squared plus 4x plus 3x plus 12 equals 0 which simply means x into bracket x plus 4 plus 3 into bracket x plus 4 equals 0 and that means x plus 3 times x plus 4 equals 0 which simply means x equals minus 3 or x equals minus 4 and that's that the next one is solve the equation log x squared minus 9 base 5 equals 0 this is the same as x squared minus 9 equals 5 raised to power 0 if you write it in index form and that means x squared minus 9 equals 1 anything is power 0 is equal to 1 and that simply means x squared minus 9 x squared minus 9 minus 1 equals 0 oh, this is not some clumsy question all right let's see i think i should just write x squared equals 1 plus 9 and that means x squared equals 10 x squared equals 10 so x will be equal to the square root of 10 and we know that roots squares always have two roots and that that means x equals plus or minus root 10 and that's very very correct and simple so those are the two values of x is the same as saying x equals plus root 10 or x equals minus root 10 minus root 10 when you solve a quadratic equation you should get two solutions now to the next solve log solve the equation log x squared plus 6x plus 11 base 4 equals 1 over 2 we write that in index form to have x squared plus 6x plus 11 equals 4 raised to the power half which simply means x squared plus 6x plus 11 equals 2 4 raised to the power half simply means the square root of 4 that means x squared plus 6x plus 11 minus 2 equals 0 and that's x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0 which means x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9 equals 0 and that means x into bracket x plus 3 plus 3 into bracket x plus 3 
equals zero and that means x plus three times x plus three equals zero which means x equals minus three or x equals minus three when you get the same value you just say x equals that value twice that means x equals minus three twice and straight we go to the next which is log solve log x squared minus 8x plus 18 base 8 equals 1 over 3 we change that to write that in the next form and what we're going to have is x squared minus 8x plus 18 equals 8 raised to the power let me write the 8 here in 18 properly equals 8 raised to the power 1 over 3 and that simply means x squared minus 8x plus 18 8 raised to the power 1 over 3 is the same as the cube root of 8 which is 2 and that, mean, and that means x squared minus 8x plus 18 minus 2 equals 0 which means x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 0 I think, I think we can solve this by the factorization method yes yes we can yeah that's x squared minus 4x minus 4x plus 16 equals 0 which means x into bracket x minus 4 minus 4 into bracket x minus 5 equals 0 and that is say that's the same as x minus 4 times x minus 4 equals 0 which simply means x equals 4 or x equals the same 4 and that therefore means x equals 4 twice now what's the next oh this one says show that log show that log b base a times log a base a sorry log a base b equals one hmm, how do we do that okay let's see that log b base a is the same as log b over log a times i'm showing that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side log a base b is also the same as log that's what i think I, that's only where i should start i should say left hand side or better still let me just write log b base a times log a base b that's the left hand side now let me now show that it is equal to one so that's equal to log b over log a times log a base b is also the same as log a over log b and this simply means log b here one log b here one log a here one log a here one and that's that's one simply oh, that, that was a piece of cake that was a piece of cake and the next one is or oh, let me take a breather and then come back in a sec thank you very much and please stay tuned